Hey everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to fetch all the data from MongoDB database by using Spring Boot. So let's get started. So if you want to watch the entire tutorial how to set up your MongoDB and Spring Boot application as well as post data you can just click on the card that is appearing on top because in this video I will be showing you only the fetch process. So now let's start. So before that let me explain you the code. So this is the student class model that I am having which has three data members, role number, name and address and this is the repository I am having. Here I have mentioned my class name and the data type of the primary key which is integer over here. And next thing is the controller. Here is where we will be creating our path and I am already having post mapping as well as fetch by using id. So now let's create for fetch the entire data present in my MongoDB table and this is my table that I am having over here. The name is student and this is my database name newdb. So this is my connection. So in application.properties, here we will be having the connection URI. So final thing, let's just go to the main controller and let me just, you know, copy the post function. And we'll just go here and paste it. And this time it's not going to be a post mapping because we are going to fetch the entire data. So it's going to be a get mapping and we are going to fetch students fetch the entire students and let's also change the function name which is going to be fetch students and we are not going to pass any request body we don't we are not going to have any body over there we're just going to like have a url that's it so let me just now remove this thing and finally we will be returning the entire data all right we'll be returning this object this object this object so this object is going to be of type student this is also going to be of type student this also of the type student because these are going to be objects at the end so the return type is going to be not void but list of student okay because each of them are individual objects and at the end we'll be getting a list so it's going to be a list of objects of type student class so that's the reason why we'll be having here list of student and let me just remove this it's going to be return and here we will be using our repository object. So if you just go here, repository is there. And only with the help of a repository variable, we will be able to like, you know, fetch or delete or update anything. So you need to have that over here. So it's going to be return student repo dot, we will be having find all. So this will fetch the entire data. And as you saw here, if I go and click find all, here it says it returns list of student, okay? So this is now fine and let me just, you know, rerun my application. So my application is currently running on port 8081. I have specified it over here. So application has started. Let me clear it. And now let's just go to Postman and let me just copy this path. Click on new. So it's going to be HTTP, not HTTPS, colon localhost, the port number that you have specified over here. And the path is going to be fetch students. So just copy this and paste it over here and the body is going to be none nothing and the operation is get over here so if i just now send this here you can see i'm getting three objects and these are the data that is present in my mongodb collection so this is basically how you fetch the entire data that is present inside a MongoDB database with the help of spring boot and that's it guys do check the playlist of my channel i've done a lot of videos in programming and ai Check them out, subscribe me, thanks for watching.